Татьяна Шмелева. Our report. You see? Yes, we can see it. I uh, you see, yes. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, uh, one minute. Uh, our report, organization of safe and efficient system of air transportation in and around an urban area using unmanned aerial vehicles. And Shmilova, uh, Tatiana, I am from Aviation Department, National Aviation University. Dmitro Kucherov, IT specialist, uh, specialist from National Aviation University. Viktor Stolba, our master student from National Aviation University. And Yuri Kovalev from Academy of Culture. Uh, we, we, I am going to tell about um, uh, drone and flight of drones. Uh, the first uh, task about analysis of terrain, where will um, flight of uh, drone, uh, and the uh, second uh, task, optimal routes, and uh, routes in smart city or and between city. And uh, uh, question number three, this is the decision making in emergency, collaborated decision making and um, um, how decision making in emergency. And uh, about human factor. We, know about human factor problems and uh, from the shell model 1917 many modification of models uh, and uh, for decision with problem human factor problems and uh, now actually integrated system but now years of integrated CNS system and last year was uh, security culture and collaborative decision making and uh, now uh, relevant actually uh, uh, flight of drones in integrated airspace. And uh, on this slide, you can see evolution human factor models uh, chronological table. And uh, first question about estimation, estimation smart city where will flight drones and um, estimation using uh, ah, no. uh, estimation uh, terrain, estimation uh, for flight, uh, for flight with uh, minimal cost, with safe, and uh, this is a group of drone and single drone. And uh, before flight, uh, we must uh, decision uh, how flight drones under remote control from operator, a more autonomous flight or pilot by autonomous robot. And how flight uh, group of drones, operator single group, operators group uh, of uh, drones and uh, through central drone, repeat. And um, estimation, estimation of um, terrain and estimation abstraction. And we obtained this table estimation of abstraction using fuzzy logic function and expert judgment methods. And on this slide, you can see algorithm of estimation uh, using expert judgment methods and estimation stages of flight and uh, terrain. And on this slide, example of estimation terrain and uh, uh, estimation in, uh, according to abstraction on this um, landscape, on this terrain. And if we have uh, multi levels, uh, estimation on each levels of flight of drones and on this slide you can see example uh, example for medicine urgent uh, delivery of medicine from Ushgarad to Hust this is a very complex city situation and terrain and the drone this is the advantages of this uh, delivering and the uh, decision of this uh, task Ushgarad Hust and the uh, Next question about uh, decision making in emergency. Uh, if we have fly flight, uh, we must to predict um, emergency and uh, uh, ready to emergency. And uh, we have smart city, for example, in emergency situation, for example, uh, loss uh, C2 link, uh, no correction between drone and operator. 
and uh, emergency bad weather condition. And um, for example, we have flight from Poltava to Zhitomir and Vertiport, one, two, three, Vertiport uh, and uh, for emergency uh, um, uh, landing. And um, this is a decision making in uncertainty and factors influence on this decision making. Distance, characteristic of place, vertiports, meteorological condition, and connection with drones. And for example, in this situation, optimal solution, vertiport three, uh, Cherkasy. This is the optimal uh, decision. And uh, on this slide, uh, example uh, for uh, decision making in bad weather condition and um, uh, Smart city two and factors uh, influence on this decision in this factor target task two urgent or no urgent and uh, uh, decision matrix of decision making in uncertainty criteria white Laplace Gurvit Savage different criteria and uh, first methods integration decision making models because we have collaborative decision making because in decision making uh, many participants, many participants and many decisions. This is the operator of drone, this is a target task, this is a pilot of manned aircraft uh, and um, air traffic controller. And uh, for improving, we, uh, um, uh, for improving this uh, complexity model, decision making in certainty, uh, we use uh, decision making in risk and decision making in uncertainty and after improving this is a simple instruction for all team for all group for all participants and uh, example example many decisions many participants this is the algorithm of construction network graph simple network graph instruction uh, general instruction common instruction for all participants in critical time in this situation and the uh, example S1, S2, this is a complexity situation, but uh, improving risk and the decision making in uncertainty. And second method, method collaborative decision making models. Uh, we have um, many participants in, and participants uh, uh, decision, individual decision making models. Models for pilot, for example, manned aircraft for air traffic controller, for engineer, no, for operator of drones. And next step, collaborative decision-making models together. Uh, together, all participants uh, decision-making in this situation. And uh, these models in intelligence uh, decision support system for uh, human operators or uh, operator of drones or pilot of uh, manned aircraft and uh, for uh, data processing, we uh, now uh, we use um, artificial intelligence methods uh, and neural network. Neural network uh, uh, built our students, uh, I think, uh, he, here, uh, students master. And um, our books we um, publish in, in USA, in Ukraine, in Poland about decision making of pilot, engineer, engineer air traffic controller, and now operator of vehicles. And uh, no conclusion, um, algorithm for estimation terrain before flight and, um, uh, and uh, decision making in emergency, uh, and um, collaborated decision making, integrated models in decision making. And what is next? No, I uh, think we are going to solve uh, collaborated decision making for all emergency situations uh, uh, for pilot of uh, manned aircraft, for operator of drones, because this is an integrated airspace, integrated um, flights. And uh, uh, including uh, psychology, Psy uh, psychology uh, properties of operators in these uh, situations. No, and next, um, I think uh, for data processing, 
um, application of artificial intelligence system because many date, uh, expert date, statistical date, and in the future, this is an artificial intelligence job. Thank you for attention. Uh, any questions? Any questions? Thank you for your report. Yes. Mm. Oh. Yes, any questions about flight of drones in the integrated airspace in smart city? This is an urban air mobility. This is a new conceptual model for flight of drones uh, in integrated space. You know, this is a problem. But drones, this is a uh, good decision for smart city and uh, between cities. Any questions? Okay. That Kochansky, please ask. Yeah, I, th I think it's a very interesting uh, topic, and it obviously is going to have to develop substantially. I live in a, a metropolitan Boston, single family suburbs, basically, uh, where uh, houses are maybe an uh, average of 30 to 40 meters center to center distance. And on a given day, in my immediate sort of neighborhood of about a thousand, houses give or take there are 100 plus vehicles delivering things uh, all on the ground right now but uh, you know amazon has uh, several uh, programs one hour two hour uh, delivery and there's uh, larger uh, companies uh, from the standpoint of a bigger spread and things uh, package delivery services and they keep coming and going and coming and going and obviously, the, those companies would like to uh, use uh, air vehicles if possible, because uh, you know it's much shorter than having to wind around many uh, turns and street corners and things. But uh, this is a completely uncontrolled area right now. Yet it uh, lies between the airspace of a, a world-class international airport, Logan International, and also extremely busy. Uh, general aviation airport that has many, many uh, high value uh, takeoffs and landings every day for uh, corporate jets and uh, such at Hanscom. Uh, so drones are hard to operate in this area right now because of a very limited uh, permission that's available for uh, uh, drones uh, not, so as not to interfere with uh, the more higher value aviation. But I think the future is there will be hundreds of these things flying in the neighborhoods. No, I think this is a good decision, drones, for delivering, for transportation, for logistics, for monitoring, for many target tasks. But we have problem, big problem. This is an absent law, law of flight, international law. law. Um, because uh, ICAO, International Civil Aviation Organization, collect all uh, documents from all countries. Uh, after this is a um, uh, documents, this is a laws or uh, national laws uh, collect, and after will be international laws for flight drones in space. This is a problem for us. And we are waiting, we are waiting international uh, uh, normative, international laws for flight of drones. In autumn last year, uh, in Kiev, um, in Kiev, where uh, Mark Walker and where uh, lecture for our students from Nevada, he is specialist in um, flight of drones. And uh, this is advantages for delivery of cargo in USA too, in uh, Europe too, in China, but law, <laughs> this is a problem, absent law. Absent now law uh, for civil aviation, hell for drones, not. Because all countries, now we have 50, 51 countries uh, uh, sent your national laws, but uh, we have uh, how how much countries in the world, uh, Simon? No, maybe 150 in ICAO. ICAO, this is the aviation, uh, international aviation organization. 
but must be all countries for these decisions. No, 150, uh, 150 countries in the world. But okay, okay, Tatiana, we understood your, your but idea. Uh, need. Yes. Do we have any other questions? Uh, Alexander, please ask the question. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation, Tatiana. Um, did you look into what vehicle to vehicle communication and uh, routing uh, provides today? Because they, they have to be probably solving the same problems. No, vehicle to vehicle, no uh, connection between uh, two vehicles. Connection, uh, uh, routing. A group of vehicles and connection with problem too, because many. Uh, no, in document in IKEA, uh, wrote one operator, one vehicle. But if we have group vehicles, this is a program, this is a central drone. And uh, uh, now we study a flight of group of drones and how will be, you no, know, how will flight. Uh, and target task for decision with group of flight and uh, connection optical uh, infra uh, no infra красные uh, no, no insta, короче, in yeah. investigation Infrared. да investigation and now only configuration configuration choose of central drone and different um, configuration of group uh, of drones and target task estimation target task next step i think okay my 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 suggestion would be uh, just for the future of this topic because it's really interesting is to is to use active exploration uh, instead of waiting for something b to come you know one, one of the good examples of that uh, unfortunately is is those massive attacks by uh, iranian drones where everyone was laughing like okay what those iranians can do uh, because they they have this you know primitive drones but you know being primitive but pushy uh, helped them to actually kind of make the difference where we have been considering way more complex stuff that that is simply not available that is not industrialized so my 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 thinking is also that you know we we have to we have to reach out we have to send stuff out there and and see you know that things have to evolve uh, and and we we have to evolve as as the society as well no i i um, hear all the reports and i think in future we are working together because many interesting uh, investigation uh, today were about gps about uh, MEMS, about no navigation navigation this is important for drones because drones fly to navigation uh, GPS uh, um, too, and uh, no, many neural network, mathematical models. I think in future uh, maybe contacts uh, exchange uh, contacts and uh, together will be on our department on our de uh, navigation department <coughs> in National Aviation University study operator of drones. What Victor? He operator of drones. Um, after um, no, after university we need a lot of those now i know that no um, a contact a con uh, contact uh, in no, on conference a present in presentation yes simon yep Thank okay you. yes we've got in presentation mail and for connection yes in your paper communication yes, you can find yes and together push these laws uh, for for air traffic control of uavs okay do we have any other questions okay then uh, i can uh, conclude that we had very fruitful uh, uh, talk, uh, fruitful um, special session that was called aerospace, radio, electronic, and computer system uh, services, services and technologies 
it was really uh, good discussions. Uh, all of the topic were discussed uh, and questions were asked. So thank you very much for this good cooperation and this results. And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, we did not we did not have uh, problems with connections, but we had power cuts. I saw that people had power cuts but still they use their laptops and some for example Ivan used generator so finally we uh, came to our purpose we came to the uh, the result uh, we exchanged our information uh, got experience uh, showed that we uh, are uh, showed that we are a union and together we can solve all the problem and uh, get the best result and uh, of course win in this war that now is in ukraine so thank you all uh, thanks all that who take took part in our meeting uh, especially from other countries and especially for your questions uh, dear ted thank you very much for a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, yes connections and discussions thanks all of you uh, hope that it was uh, uh, important and uh, uh, it uh, gave me a good uh, new information today and experience so yes maybe anybody yeah. could add well well thank you very much for facilitating this uh, this group simon that was a pleasure to you know to listen to your voice and you know to to have things in a really controlled manner just on schedule just in time so well done thank you for your support as well thank you very much yeah. uh, thank you for sharing the technical results information discussion it's very important for improvement current result and status okay thank you, thank you. so uh, uh artem uh, now we can finish yes can we yes, yeah goodbye. yeah okay Thanks thank you very much you tomorrow and yes see goodbye. you tomorrow yes yes thank you thank you very much have a nice evening too okay goodbye